Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are going apartment shopping. <laughs> so we have a story. We were actually gonna have a move-in day today. Um, so let's rewind and let me tell you the whole story. So the, about two weeks ago, we went apartment shopping, but we only looked at one apartment and we settled for that one apartment. We filled out the application, we sent it out. One week later, we got accepted. We chose our move-in date and that was today. When we went to uh, sign the lease and um, fill out the paperwork, pay the appropriate rent, and um, when we walked in, before we signed the lease, we asked if we can go check the apartment one more time before we sign the lease because we just never know if there's damage to the apartment before you sign it. What if they end up charging us for it and it wasn't us, right? When we went, we checked it out, okay, we saw a few things that were damaged, so we wrote it down, we took pictures as we were leaving. So this is, it's a two-story and then it has a, a hall. So it has an elevator and then it has a hall and then our apartment's like the last apartment down the hall. So we had to walk a little bit. And then when we're coming back to go back to into the elevator, we seen, um, well actually the lady kind of like spotted that there was a few things on the floor. So she took a picture of it so that way she could send it to um, like the people, the keepers, like maintenance. the maintenance people so they can pick it up. And then, we were standing there for the elevator to come up to pick us up and Raymond noticed a needle on the floor with the item. So there was like an umbrella, there was a stroller, there was like a, a box and like clothing on the floor, just left on the floor. With the needle? With the needle. The needle was kind of like hidden under, but you could see like the needle. It was like an orange too. Yeah. It's like orange, you know, and clear. Raymond was telling me as we were leaving um, the building, so when we were going back into the leasing office, he was letting me know. And so I, I told him, like, let's tell the lady because that's not okay. And we told her, and she kind of didn't like pay attention to it, so she kind of like brushed it off, kind of like denying it because she took she took a picture of it herself, and she's like, oh, I don't see it. Um, so you know, my eyes don't lie to me. Yeah. And so it's, then, like, it's like if she's calling my eyes a liar. Right. Me a liar. <laughs> yeah. And I believe him. I believe it was there. Because we did see things that that stuff did not belong there. Mm -hmm. And um, it's in Pomona. On Holt. On Holt. So it's like down the street there's like homeless people. Yeah. And there's like um, there was uh, like stands that there was stands that homeless people could get free phones and all that stuff so they were nearby like two minutes down the street so, and then tell, tell them about tell them about the review that you read yeah so after he told me that we we still we went to go sit down still we were like reading the lease we were about to sign it so we went we to go sit down it. we were signing we had to do it online the signing <laughs> so we were actually signing the paperwork already while okay, keep going so we were signing the paperwork while all this was on my mind, right? And I just could not get this off my mind. I had a gut feeling of like, like something's wrong. Like I can't do this. And then, so once I felt that, because I felt it stronger and stronger as I continued to sign the paperwork. And so what I did, I was like, okay, let me just search up the place. Let me, let me check the reviews. So I put recent reviews. The most recent one was a week ago, and it said... Basically when we signed up. <laughs> yeah, it said, please do not move there, especially if you have family, which is our children. Yeah. Do not move there. And then it said that there's people that don't live there, un unhomed people, so basically homeless people, going there. Living there rent-free. Living there rent-free. While others pay there. Right. And then that they go into the apartments that are vacant or the balconies? What is the balconies or the like 
the area like the porches they go and they go sleep there and that they break the gates the security gates and the security guard doesn't really do anything about it yeah. and that their car has been broken to more than twice already and our car does not have a lock yet We're it broke, it broke. It broke so, okay. so our car could could have gotten stolen it could have gotten broken to like easily so there's no security um and the they put pictures of the um what is it called the parking space and they're being trashed so there's trash all over the parking spaces that you can't even park and that? yeah they show pictures of it and i it saw it uh-huh there was like trash bags with food and like nasty stuff on the floor oh, and um so in your parking space you get like a little cabinet so it's not even a garage you get a cabinet where you can store your stuff right yeah. and so it was that was broken into and all the stuff that was in the cabinet was thrown on the floor Damn. you know so it was a hot mess and when i told i texted Reem and i was like Stop. Stop, it. stop Stop signing everything right now. Yeah, it's to stop signing everything. Like, we're not doing it. We're gonna go. And so, after I told him that, my phone, honestly, it was so slow. It did not want to deliver to him. So, I was like, I hope you did not put submit yeah. before it delivers to him. Yeah. And we're getting close. Oh, babe, I don't fucking know. I thought you know. So, once the, the message delivered, I told the lady, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm actually not gonna do it anymore. And I basically told her that with what we saw, like I couldn't do it anymore. It's it's not safe for the kids and I'm not gonna feel safe living there. You know if knowing that. Right, and it was literally outside like our door, like down the hall of mm -hmm. the door. Mm -hmm. And we have children, we have two boys and a baby. You know what? We can't they, we can't bring them home after school, you know, and them seeing like a homeless person shooting up right there. Or whenever, whenever we come home, I can't even like I'm not even going to be able to go downstairs on my own. What if there's someone, you know, dangerous downstairs and Raymond has to stay up with the kids or if he leaves somewhere, you know, it's going to be it's going to be dangerous, but it's not going to be safe for us. And so we had to stop everything and I, I, I let her know everything that was going on everything i felt and you know i told her that this was our first apartment that i really did want to move into the apartment it's just the environment on the outside was not okay mm -hmm. and i was really upset because i wanted to but my heart told me that this is not okay because i'm a mom and i have to think about my kids safety first you know whether i want to move out or not I, I have to think about them first because this was supposed to be something happy for all of us. You know, we can't live there for 11 months and be miserable because the people that, that you know, homeless people or like there's trash on the floor. Or like it's not clean. It's not sanitor sanitary. Okay. It's not sanitary. <laughs> and so that's what happened. Guess what, guys? we are here at a different location and we are looking for uh different apartments and so we're here at a tour so you guys are gonna come apartment shopping with us this is the second place that we went to i honestly totally forgot about filming at the last place that we went to and let me tell you guys that i loved it it was amazing it was perfect it was cozy but let's let's lesson learned and not go for the just the very first one that you choose have several options and that's you gotta what learn by do. experience you gotta go out there and uh oh, shit. you don't have to tell me but okay um you don't you like yeah don't settle for the first one and you know we might have we were gonna get ourselves into a <laughs> sticky mess and it wouldn't have been okay right but if we didn't try it if we didn't go out there and try it one time and i mean we at least had intuition about it to be like hey you know stop mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's good and i remembered about Ray what raymond told me because he told me this morning he said are you sure when we were reading um because we were reading the paperwork the welcome home letter that they sent us he's yeah. like are you sure just because you know we we came this far doesn't mean that we have to continue mm -hmm. so i also thought about that 
when I was thinking about telling her no, like I'm not gonna do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Because it's not too late. You haven't signed anything yet. You're, you know, we were barely gonna hand the money, mm-hmm. huh? We were mm-hmm. gonna hand the money. We're already getting to that point. Yeah, and so I was like, no, you know what? This, this can't be. And I even got a call from I, I don't know if it was the owner, or the landlord, because mm-hmm. I didn't recognize the number. It was a nine five one, and so I answered and I'm like, hello. He was like, is this Raymond Castaneda? I said, who's calling? Mm-hmm. He said he was. What is that? Wait, we should not tell them. I'll just block it out. Okay. So, I mean, all right, cool. So, it was from an apartment. I don't want to name it, right? Because, you know, it doesn't matter anyways. You guys are not going to live there. So, um, they called me and they were asking me if uh, to confirm the moving day of today. And I told them that we're not going to follow through with it because of that reason of there was, there was a homeless person at the elevator, right outside the elevator, like shooting up mm-hmm. who knows what <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying and they just left all their trash there so like i i just didn't want the kids to see it mm-hmm. um like at night i don't need i don't need them to the who if it's one or two people to be there and then they see yasmin and the kids they think they're they're like they're weak and shit mm-hmm. and they follow them to the to the house and it's like a like a one minute down down the the um where is it in the hallway. Like down the hallway. And then, you know, opening up your door, you have to unlock it and all that. Yeah. It takes a couple seconds, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Anything can happen in a couple seconds if they're running or whatever the Or like a plot be. against you. Right. And then break your fucking door down. You know, the door doesn't look that doesn't look that strong to hold. And we can't just jump out the window because it, it's second floor, guys. Yeah. So you have to fe- yeah, you're gonna have to fend mm-hmm. for yourself in, in the room and shit, you know? Thank God we have one of these. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it it was it was crazy all right we will see you guys in there and i will show you guys the apartment tour She can have like parties and stuff, get togethers. That would be so freaking awesome. So right now the lady gave us this key so that way we can go ahead and check out the amenities that are here in this building. And honestly, they are looking so freaking awesome right now. We have baby right here. He's in there sleeping. I don't think you guys can see him, but he's in there sleeping. And then I'm using his little cup holder as a a stand so that way you guys can see everything um we're gonna go in right now when raymond gets out of the restroom So they have a theater area right here. <gasps> wow, guys. I would honestly look, it says it's close for a resident reservation. I would reserve it and have just a movie night, just us. Mm. Instead of going to the, mo- the movies, they had the Hobbit. Love this area. A movie night in your PJs with the kids. Oh, 
this is nice. And then does this one have the washer and dryer area? Yeah, absolutely. It's right on the cover. Oh, okay. Nice. And it would come with the washer and dryer as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Um, and then again, it just kind of depends on the option it is because I have this available on phase A as well. That one's like a little bit cheaper and it's downstairs. But those are the ones that I have on the Okay. The, the, the bathroom is really spacious as well. Yeah. Okay, so this one does not have a garage. It does, but it's detached. Um, yeah. It's super close by. It's just on the other side of this building. Though. Okay. And then this is like the heater and the yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, nice. And then you just set it up to Wi-Fi. Okay, nice. This is the room. Hey guys, I forgot to close out yesterday's video, but thank you for watching and stay tuned for any updates on the apartment that we choose.